Let's learn about using collections at Mapstack Library. This is my existing project, person DB object, which has first name, last name, and date of birth. And person DD boy has first name and last name. And the mapper has default implementation. And there is a test case. A sample object has been created, which is person DB object. And a mapper object has been created, and DTO object has been created using the mapper.2DTO method. And a couple of assertions. Let's run the JNU test case. And it is success. As of now, everything is good. Let's create a list of person DB objects, whether it can be converted into the list of person DTO objects. So I'm using arrays as a list. In this case, I'm using only one object in the list. AB object list. And I'm passing it to percentage. But there is no such method which accepts. So let's create that one also. Before that, let's update this one. This list let's update the annotations so we are using only one object so so dto dot get index of zero dot get name let's update get zero get so let's go to the mapping let's update the input arguments. So I'm using Java util list. And updating return as well. Updating return object type. Save the file. And here also save the file. Let's see the implementation before we run the test case. In the implementation, where it takes the list argument. The DB object has been iterated and it has been converted. And it's been added to a list and the same list has been written over here. So in order to convert DB object into the DTO, it uses the existing DB method, which is a two person DTO. And let's see what if there is no person DTO method. Let's comment it out and see the implementation. And still in this case, the person DB object to person DTO has been created with the default config. If you observe it, even though we have not defined person DB object to the DTO object, it automatically created one for us and it's been used. And it's been created using the default configuration, which is a same data type and same variable name. Let's run our test case. It's working as expected. Let's run comment to person DTO to use our own configuration. The implementation will be using the defined mapping configuration. So let's rerun the test case. It's been success. Now let's see, is it only applicable for the list type? No, it can be applicable for any iteratable type. For example, in case of this set, let's name it to the set function. Let's create set, it will set person DB object. So let's say, DB object set is equal to new hash set DB object set dot add DB object. Let's pass this one over here and we will be expecting a set over here. Let's create method. So let's create a new method over here. 
as per ours, which will take a set as an input argument and the return type will be a set. So input argument is set of person DV objects and output is set of person DTV objects. So let's correct our assertions because set doesn't have the get method. Let's create a for loop. And let's say TTO set over here. It was set. And let's move these two assertions inside. In our test case, we have only one object. So that's why I have been writing like this. We can use the same technique and let's save the all the files so the all compilations will go and let's look at mapper implementation so when we are passing the set of db objects it's been converting to the set of dt objects in the same manner but the initialization is just different here also the means it is going over the collection and it's been using our defined 2% DTO method like it's been done for the list. It will be iterating through all the values inside the set, objects inside the set, and it, those will be converted into our DTO objects. Let's run the test case and see whether it is working as expected or not. Set test case also been passed. Until this point, I understand the list, all collections can be supported like this. Let's check one more thing. Can I use a map of objects to convert into map of D2 objects? Yes, that is also possible. So let's write another test case for it. So here I'm creating a map which will take long and then person db object of db object map is equal to hash map let's import the classes And I'm expecting a map of person DTO. First condition will be it should not be. And the how the accession will be for this map. So here the mapper will configure to use the id as key for the map as well so let's use the same thing over here while for, to write session for the get name uh, it your map of one and for the dto map of one so we're using key as long variable in the session we are using the db object that get first name and dto map dot get of one l this is where we are calling the map dot get by passing a key in our case key is one l save the file and create the method so i created the method with the default setting let's see the implementation in the implementation it's been iterated over the map using the map using for loop and use map dot entry and enter entry that get value use the key in our case it will be id and entry that value has been used to convert person db object into the dto object and it has been achieved using two person dto object which we define at mapper implement at mapper interface 
and the same has been set as it return map in our case return map is map so it put key and value so let's run our test case and see let's see our test case why it is failed okay while getting it it failed oh we forgot to set the object put i'm using one give the object over here here i need to use one l convert into the long object let's save the file and rerun the test case all test case has been passed including the map that's all for now Thank you.